please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Good morning, dogs, and happy Monday. Only 20 more days left. We've got this. It's now time for weather with Ivan. Good morning, Frankfurt High School. Today is going to be a high of 70 and a low of 45. It's going to be sunny all day. So what a beautiful morning we have today. It's currently 45 degrees. At lunch, it's going to be 61. And at 3, it's going to be 66. A very warm day today. But tomorrow, it's going to get better with a high of 70, 78. And Wednesday, a high of 80. I think summer's coming. Back to the studio. Thanks, Ivan. Attention, seniors. If you have not picked up your cap and gown from the front office, please stop by today. Summer marching band practices start next Tuesday and Thursday, May 8th and 10th, from 4 to 5.30 in the band room. All students signed up for band next year must attend. Today is the due date for all student council applications. It is also the last day to sign up for a class officer position. Class officer elections will be tomorrow, May 1st, via Google Forms, so check your school email. All freshmen interested in joining Learning to Lead, Nancy Elsie will be in the FHS cafeteria during community tomorrow. Sign up in Student Services to attend this meeting. Strides for Stacy is Saturday, May 19th at 9 a.m. Register by tomorrow to ensure that you get a t-shirt for the event. Registration papers are available in the bookstore. The 40th Annual Flora Hog Jog is Saturday, June 16th. The registration fee is $20 and registration will close June 13th. Applications for the 2018-2019 Frankfurt DECA Leadership Team are due this week. Stop by the DECA room to pick up an officer application if interested. It's now time for sports with Nick. Thanks. On Saturday, the boys track and field team won the county meet by a total of 20 points. Colton Crum won the pole vault. Jared Wells won the 800, the 1600, and the 3200. Andy Palmer got first in the shot put. And the 4x100 team of Evan Jordan, Dylan Shelley, Damon Martinez, and Ken Horlacher also took first. The girls track and field team ended up placing second in the county meet behind Clinton Prairie who got first. Kenny Garcia won the discus. Wendy Seha won the pole vault, and finally, Jeanette Martinez ended up winning the 3,200. Friday night, the Lady Hot Dogs softball team defeated Crawfordsville by a score of 13-3 in five innings. Avery Drew got the win, allowing six hits, three runs, and striking out two. Kylie Norman and Avery Drew led the Hot Dogs with three hits. Haley Han also chipped in, going two for three with two doubles as well. The Hot Dogs will return to action on Tuesday evening at Southmont, with the varsity playing at 6 o'clock, and following will be the JV. The varsity baseball team started the weekend with a 3-2 win over West Lafayette on Friday. Luis Hernandez pitched a complete game. On Saturday, the team won the Clinton County Tournament. In the morning game versus Rossville, the Hot Dogs came out on top with a score of 7-2. Jack Espinosa threw four innings for the win, and Jesus Lopez pitched three innings in relief and got the save. Jose Valdez Sandoval had three hits on the offensive side. In the championship game, the team defeated Clinton Prairie by a score of 4-2. Brian Compton threw a complete game for the win, and Jose Sandoval had another three-hit performance. That win capped off a six-game week, with the Hot Dogs winning five of those and only losing one. So, good job to you guys. The JV baseball team fell Northwestern on Saturday, losing by a score of 11-10. Cole Wills went 3-5 five with five RBIs. Also having a good day at the plate was Angel Cruz with two hits and two RBIs. The varsity girls tennis team competed at the Peru Invite on Saturday, winning every single match that they played. They beat Anderson, Peru, and Madison Grant. The team is now 10-2 and, and will be returning to play Tuesday at Lebanon. That's it for sports. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Nick. Decca cookies are back. This week they will be M&M, chocolate chip, sugar, and chocolate brownie. Stop by the Decca cart to purchase your cookies today. Don't forget to purchase your prom tickets at the bookstore for $25 and fill out your permission slip. 
promised this Saturday, May 5th, at the Purdue North Ballroom. That's all for the daily announcements. Thanks for tuning in, and have a wonderful Monday. This has been a vain attempt at Sanity Production. <laughs>